Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. I wanted to do a quick video on the swing transition. What's the proper way to do the swing transition? There are a lot of different videos out there with a lot of different data and advice and methods to nail the perfect swing transition. And depending on who you listen to, you're going to get different advice. Now, I have found through the years that swing transition is a very personal thing. And what you need to understand with the swing transition is you need to develop a swing transition that is going to allow you to get to a nice balanced position at the top and then start that weight shift and start coming down in a nice balanced manner. You want to be able to keep the head behind the ball, get the weight shift, get your weight shifted to your left side, get that left leg straightened up and the right leg bent and then come into the ball consistently time and time again. Now, I've seen studies that have looked at how different pros do it. And people will adopt a way that one particular pro does it, and they'll say, this is the ideal way of doing it. Padraig Harrington, who I have all the respect for in the world, he's a great golfer, a very, well accom or very accomplished golfer. He's a great personality and a great character out on the Champions Tour. Padraig Harrington, he preaches that what he does to get solid contact all the time is before he even finishes his backswing he starts his lower body transition and that's fine that works great for Podrick I tried to adopt that years ago and I just could not get it to work for me there are other golfers out there there's there's a Korean golfer on the PGA Tour right now that when he gets to the top he has this very long pause and then he suddenly fires and that works great for him he's a great ball striker me personally, I have a little bit of a pause at the top of my swing. Why do I pause? I pause because it helps me get a feeling of getting up, getting loaded, making sure I finish my backswing, and then I feel like I'm in a great balanced position to just fire back through the ball. And that works for me. But it might, it might not work for you. What you have to do is you have to find the transition that is going to work best for you, that is going to help you feel balanced and powerful coming back through that ball. So... Experiment with a few of the different methods. Try doing it sometimes where you, before you even get to the top, you start that, that bottom going. Try getting all the way to the top, do a nice long pause, over exaggerate it, and then fire through. Find out what works for you. Don't worry about what people tell you. For the longest time, I would have people that I was playing golf with talk about, oh, you're pausing too long at the time or you're pausing way too long at the top of your swing because I had a real dramatic pause. I would line up to the ball and I would come up and I would stand and then I would fire. They didn't understand what I was doing, what was going through my mind, how I was getting that balanced feeling at the top before I fired. And they just, to them it looked wrong so they kept on telling me, you need to quit doing that, you'll hit the ball better. Well, I didn't listen to them. I stuck to what I knew worked for me and it's really served me well over the years. I don't have quite the distinct pause or, or dramatic pause that I used to have, but I still do have a little pause at the top. Some people call it a hitch. To me, that's how I transition. So go out and experiment. Find the best way to transition into your downswing. Don't listen to somebody who's going to tell you, you have to do it this way. Or find the transition that works best for you. The keys, the fundamentals that you need to be able to nail when you get to the top is you need to find your best way to start that weight going to the left. Whether that causes you to pause at the top, whether you have to do it before you get to the top, or whether you just have a nice smooth up and then through. Find out which one works for you and stick with it. I hope this helps clear up some confusion. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.